This is a quick video on installing the Plex Media Server plugin within FreeNAS. We'll create a new user and dataset for Plex, and then we'll use the new user to access our dataset over a Windows SMB share. And then finally, we'll install the Plex Media Server plugin. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. First, let's get logged into the server. And then we're gonna head over to users under accounts. And we're gonna click on the add button to create a new user. Go ahead and enter a name into the full name and it will auto populate the username. Give it a password. Confirm it. We can leave everything else default and click save. Now we need to head over to groups and we need to find our media group. And we're gonna click on these three dots and go to members. And we're gonna add our new user to the media group and click save. Now we need to create a new data set for our Plex Media. So let's go ahead and head over to storage and then pools. You should already have a pool created. If not, watch this video here. Otherwise, go ahead and click the three dots and then we're gonna to go to add data set. And then we'll just call it Plex Media. We'll leave everything as is and click on save. Now we need to modify the ACL for our new data set. So go back to the three dots and then edit ACL. And we're gonna change the group for this data set to media. Match the media group that we used earlier. And then we can also change the default ACL options to open. And then click save. Now let's go over to sharing and then Windows shares. And we're gonna share our new data set. So just gonna add, gonna drill down to our new Plex Media and then click save. And then now we just need to open up Windows Explorer and we can test access to our server. We're gonna use the new account we created. There's our Plex Media folder. So let's open it up and see if we have write access. So make a TV folder and we are able to do so. So we do have write access and we'll also make a movie folder. Now we can move on to installing the plugin. To install the plugin, let's just switch back over, go down to plugins. If you haven't installed any plugins before, it's gonna ask you which pool you'd like to store them on. I only have the one, so we're gonna select the one I have and hit choose. And now we're gonna select the Plex Media Server and we're gonna click on install. Uh, you can leave everything as default and then just give that a name and click save. This process speed will vary depending on your hardware. Okay, now that the plugin is installed, we can go ahead and hit close here. And before we do anything with Plex, we need to mount our data set. And we can't do that with the plugin running, so we need to go ahead and stop Plex here. And then we're gonna go into mount points. And we're going to add a mount point. Now at the top here is with our data set on FreeNAS, we're gonna drill down to our Plex Media. And then this destination side is inside the Plex Jail. And this is gonna be the mount point, so we're just gonna mount this Plex Media uh, data set to this media folder. And hit save. And now we can go ahead and start the plugin back up. So let's head back over to plugins and start the plugin. Now go ahead and click this manage button and it will take you to Plex. Go ahead and click this got it button. If you want a Plex pass, you can sign up for it here. Otherwise close this banner. Let's go ahead and give your Plex server a name. This is optional. Allow me to access my media outside my home. It's up to you. Now we're gonna go to add library. And the first one's gonna be movies. And then we're gonna click on this add folders. 
and then we're going to browse for the folder this forward slash will take us to the root inside of the jail and then from here we can see the media folder and then inside the media folder you can see the two folders we created so go ahead and select the movies and then click add and then add to library and then we're going to hit add library again and we're going to add the tv shows and this time we're going to do the same thing forward slash media and then the tv folder this time click add add to library and then next and done and you're done once you start adding media files to those folders they will show up under the movies and folders section uh, right here movies and tv shows if you want to be able to access your server outside of your home you will need to sign in and claim this server otherwise you can click on don't show this again if you have any questions comments please feel free to leave them below and as always thanks for watching